Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand, which is of course this whole DDG and Hallie breakup. Now yes, it looks like there was some trouble in paradise between the cute couple Hallie and DDG and it looks like they have officially ended things. Now how did we get this indication? Well, because these two officially unfollowed each other on Instagram, Hallie decided to unfollow DDG and DDG decided to unfollow Hallie as well, but Hallie is still following DDG's mom. Now, DDG not only did that, but he decided to post on Twitter kind of indicating or insinuating that Hallie was the wrong one or in the wrong for the breakup. He posted and he said, all of these girls is the same. Ain't no way. Like I said, that's kind of indicating that Hallie did something wrong. Now, this is completely confusing and can left field because these two were just doing good three days ago Hallie posted onto her Twitter and she was like I can't lie I really love my man and DDG reposted and he was like I love you more and it just seemed like these two were all lovey-dovey and now three days later now it looks like they have unfollowed each other and they have broken up now DDG and Hallie's relationship only lasted a year it seems like they're breaking up around the same time that they got together last year if you guys don't remember DDG and Hallie made it official last year, January of 2022. Yes, I know the years are flying by fast and now it seems like they are over. Now, of course, we have to get more information and see if these two are officially over. Maybe it's just a minor breakup, but let's go ahead and get into some things that could have probably told us that this was going to happen. Now, trust me, this is no bashing towards DDG or Hallie. And I think there's a lot of advice that we can take from this situation now first sign number one was the fact that ddg and hallie i remember when ddg was speaking on his relationship with hallie and he was talking about man this is the first relationship where i feel like it's not toxic we're not arguing all the time we haven't had an argument yet and i was like oh while that seems great unfortunately that's not great it's actually healthy for a couple to argue here and there at least like and research says it's about three or four times a day and i don't feel like you should argue even that much right but it's healthy for you to have healthy arguments between you and your partner so the fact that ddg was speaking and saying that you know him and hallie hadn't argued kind of raised a red flag because it's like it's supposed to be some type of arguing there if you don't have any type of arguments or disagreements in your relationship most likely something is fake on somebody's end and that's what a lot of people just don't want to believe a lot of people in this generation don't want to do the work that comes with relationships like arguing in it's going to be stressful sometimes and people don't want to go through that they want everything to be easy flowing but you have to understand if you want something easy flowing if you want a relationship that is easy flowing you have to understand that something is going to be fake and somebody is going to be fake now not only that when ddg did say that it kind of gave me the indication or i kind of was thinking that he might have been kind of dissing his exes because we know that ddg has has had some problems and arguments and some toxic relationships in his past let's go ahead and get into it now we know that ddg he is the favorite youtuber of many of course i even like ddg myself like i said this is not no bashing towards him now if you guys have been watching ddg for a while you will remember that ddg started to upload when he was in a relationship with his longtime college girlfriend and her name was essence now who child it seemed like these two had a rocky relationship and they definitely ended off what seems like on bad terms from the video that they put out it definitely didn't seem like they ended on good terms now after that ddg got into a relationship which a lot of fans loved him with the youtuber kennedy simone these two were just a cute couple they got together back in 2017 and they ended in 2019 now let's go ahead and dive a little bit into kennedy and ddg's relationship right i remember when ddg spoke about the fact that him and kennedy had ended their relationship they had completely ended things and ddg was asked why did things completely end between him and kennedy ddg was like oh it was certain ways that she wanted to communicate about things she wanted to do certain things and i just wasn't with it i didn't want to do things like that now, child when ddg said that i was like it's
something that's easy to fix. Like you can fix something small like that. And when Kennedy made her video, she was crying. She was emotional. And that's how we could tell that Kennedy really, really cared for DDG. And she was just talking about how she had to do what was best for her because she was tired of trying to let a person see how much she cared for them. And she just felt like she wasn't being appreciated for the way that she was loving and caring for allegedly DDG. It obviously seemed like she was talking about DDG. Moving on from that, I think DDG probably got into his most toxic relationship when he got into a relationship with Ruby Rose. Like I said, things seemed really toxic between Ruby Rose and DDG. It seemed like these two were probably always arguing, probably always fighting. Now, after DDG and Ruby Rose ended their relationship, luckily, these two were able to stay friends. Now, here is where we get into the interesting information. Now, recently, I was scrolling on TikTok and this video came up of Ruby Rose talking about why her and DDG ended their relationship. Ruby Rose was speaking on Instagram Live and this is the video right here. I wish I could play it here, but I can't refurbish it on YouTube because somebody already posted it. If you guys want to hear the audio along with the video, make sure you go to my Instagram, at room for tea with two A's at the end to check it out. In this video, Ruby Rose was talking about how DDG was constantly, constantly cheating on her and that's why she had to end the relationship. She said that she constantly caught DDG cheating on her and that's why she would do some of the things that she was doing and that's why these two were always arguing and making up and breaking up. When DDG first got with Hallie, he had literally just gotten out of a relationship with Ruby Rose. It was only like a couple of months and I doubt that DDG really had the time to heal. A lot of guys don't heal anyways, but I doubt that he really had the time to heal. Now here's where we get into the intro interesting point. When I heard Ruby Rose saying what she was saying on the live, it kind of raised a red flag in my head with DDG and Hallie's relationship because like I said DDG jumped out of a relationship with Ruby Rose and got into a relationship with Hallie which kind of lets us know that he didn't really give himself time to one heal but to learn from his mistakes that he made with Ruby Rose. Even for us women and men as well if you just got out of a toxic relationship and if you were the one in the wrong and constantly cheating on a person it does take time to heal but it takes time to understand where you were wrong in your previous relationship so you can do better in the next relationship you shouldn't just jump into another relationship because nine times out of ten the same mistakes that you were making in that past relationship you are going to make in this new present relationship now i will have to say with ddg and hallie let's go ahead and get into it either one of the two things happened but look either she did something small and he considered it as cheating so he's putting all of the blame on her for his infidelity and what he was doing or EDG really got cheated on or done wrong by Hallie. And this could be somewhat of what people would call DDG's karma for him cheating on Ruby Rose and possibly, possibly cheating on Kennedy Simone as well. Now let's go ahead and get into the fact that he was saying that he wanted Kennedy Simone back recently. It was literally before or after his relationship with Ruby Rose, but let's go ahead and sum this up. Kennedy made that video and she was so sad. Like a lot of us ladies get sad when we feel like a guy is not appreciating us. But we have to understand that God, he don't make another you. So when God gives a person you and that person do not appreciate you, baby, trust me, that person will realize that there's nobody else like you and they will remember that they did you wrong and they didn't appreciate you. And that's why they can't find anybody else good. Now, I'm not saying that that's the case in this whole DDG and Hallie situation even though it seems like it is but this is just some advice for my ladies also some advice for the guys as well don't just jump into another relationship after you got out of a toxic relationship especially if you know that you were the cause for that breakup or if you were cheating get yourself together heal and understand where you were wrong so you can move on into a healthy relationship not a fake relationship not a on the surface relationship not a relationship where you don't argue at all a relationship that is actually healthy and you will have disagreements
agreements and healthy relationships, okay? You know what I mean? Like I said, this video is not to bash Hallie, DDG, or anybody. This is just some key points that I noticed in the situation. Hopefully, Hallie and DDG can work things out later on. But y'all let me know, do you think that DDG is once again going to want Kennedy back? That's my question in my head. Maybe you guys think, no, not at all. I'm tripping. Or maybe you thinking the same thing. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And once again, thank you for watching my video, my lovely TTs. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. And like I always say, I'll see you in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.